77 years ago today, a group of Benedictine monks from Minnesota came to the Bahamas and opened a small school in the heart of Nassau for young Bahamian boys. Their goal was to give high school boys, like my father, the opportunity to get a private school education, one they may not have otherwise had. You see, in 1945, there was only one private school in the Bahamas, and only the very fortunate were able to attend. Today, we Sackers boast about being the premier institution of learning in the Bahamas. Visitors to our administration building are amazed at the number of trophies on display that are evidence of our great achievements in sports and academics. But while we can display the marks of our recent successes, we must also appreciate how we got here in the first place. It was the dedication to a life of poverty and stewardship by young American priests who dared to venture thousands of miles away from home to this group of small, barely developed islands called the Bahamas. They settled in unfamiliar territory and took a chance on a few young Bahamian boys. It wasn't long before word got around that a good thing had begun. Enrollment grew and so did the need for more space. The campus that we currently sit on, the open spaces, the well-maintained and equipped buildings, the beautiful flora and fauna, are the results of hard work of those before us. The thousands of students and outstanding educators over the past seven decades have left a legacy of academic excellence, athletic success, and a tradition of forming leaders in every facet of this country. Happy Founders Day, St. Augustine's College. It is my hope as your new principal to build on the good work of my predecessors and to continue the SAC legacy.